I guess I'm just going to have to deal with this sun. <laughs> um, so, even though I haven't done an official garden tour this year yet, anytime I post any sort of little video clip or something of my garden, I always get a question, where did you get such and such from? And you'll be surprised what the most popular item is. But I thought it would be fun and helpful to just do a walkthrough talking about not the plants that I'm growing yet, but what's in my garden, like what pots, planters, raised beds, etc., make up my garden. So I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible and I may not get all of the names right. <laughs> it's windy and the box just blew over. I just bought a new bird bath and opened it today and that's the box and it just blew over, scared the heck out of me. Anyway, uh, all of the links, the names and information will be in the description for everything I either purchased myself or got um, comp to me as an affiliate. Or ambassador so let's start out here in the main yard I'm gonna flip around these brown planters I have five of them I got them from Wayfair I will put a link in the description all of the pots in between came from Menards which is a Midwest store like Home Depot on steroids, but better. Seriously, they have everything. They're one of my favorites. Not to mention the wind spinners. This one and this one down here. You guessed it, and all defined. <laughs> and the trellises, same trellises I mentioned inside. Have five of them in each of these planters. Also, these cute little hanging baskets. I have two similar ones in the front, also from Aldi. Over here, we have two little simple planters that came from Aldi last summer. If you're not up on Aldi finds and you have an Aldi in your area, you need to get on that and check it out. The gazebo. I can't remember if we got this from Wayfair or Overstock. I will double check and I will put it in the description. Patio set, not important. I've had that forever. I think it came from Kmart a long time ago. We don't even have the pillows on today. We only put the pillows out when we're actually going to sit on it so they don't get destroyed by weather. Same thing with this table and these chairs. I have had them forever. The chair with the blue um, cushion actually goes over here. Um, and those came from Menards, I think in 2020. They are very comfortable. The cushions are also comfortable, but again, we usually only put them out when we're going to use them. These adorable little tables were purchased from Aldi last year and Aldi Fine. They were only like 20 bucks at the time. Uh, I think they're 29 now, although they had them a couple weeks ago and they're probably all gone. Um, if you're not familiar with Aldi Fines, real quick, it's when they release items and they only have them for a limited time, part of the new bird bath which just came from the at-home store. There's the top right there. I was just testing it out. We need to get a patio stone to put it on and put it into place. So yeah, so you look in the Aldi paper and you figure out when they're going to have their fines. And depending on where you live, they'll either be released on Sunday or Wednesday. And let me tell you, the gardening stuff is popular. <laughs> so last year when I was working from home, I was able to go down the street to Aldi be there when they opened and get the stuff that I wanted because they don't usually have a lot of whatever the popular items are so if you try to wait till later in the day or the next day they're gone okay back around we go over here I did a brief video on these on Instagram recently this is my daisy rain garden systems planters these are self-watering pots with little sprinklers in there. I will show you how they work at another time. Uh, the trellises in them also came from Menards. I go there way too much. This little hanging, um, hanging planter that does not have anything in it yet was also from Aldi. <laughs> the shepherd's hook that is hanging on was also from Aldi. I had fun at Aldi last year. The bird the hummingbird feeder no big deal I've had that forever probably Menards the pots actually I'm gonna guess I got those blue pots from Menards as well the flowers aren't they pretty gorgeous flowers um let's make our way on over oh the greenhouse people always ask where I got the greenhouse from and sadly 
This greenhouse came from Sam's Club. I bought it last year. I think I ordered it in May. And it came, it was $2.99 at that time, which was a steal. And then I noticed soon after that they dropped the price to $1.99 and then it went out of stock and I haven't seen it since. So it's like they don't carry it anymore. But I absolutely love it. I went with that one because the way that it went together and the price and how it, it held seemed to be a lot better quality than the ones that are more expensive. And we did a lot of things to beef it up. I made some videos on this, but I did not publish it since it seems like you can't even buy this greenhouse anymore. I'm gonna do some more checking on that. I might actually email the company and ask them because I had to get one replacement panel because a piece of ice fell on it in the winter and broke it and they sent one out right away at no cost. This little green planter is a Mr. Stacky vertical planter is very small as you can see um, the potting bench stands about 36 inches I think the Mr. Shaky is like 32 inches you will see a video later on the differences in all of the vertical planters that I have my potting bench I built that myself last year out of pallets there is a video on my page that talks about that the farmers market pots I recall picking those up at Ross, I believe. Like, you know how they have their clearance section of stuff. Here we have my hose link reel. I'll make sure there's a link to the description in there. I absolutely love this thing. Got it last year uh, for review as an affiliate. And we're going to buy probably two more. One for the other side of the yard and one for up front because we love them so much. My Husqvarna Auto Mower not operational right now because we've been doing a lot of work on the yard but this thing is so cool mows the grass so we don't have to <laughs> now we're over here to the main garden um that's my little garden stool ordered that from groupon but they have them everywhere like literally everywhere table the table was here as a temporary doorway because we just finished beefing up my gate yesterday we were hoping to do concrete today, but it rained like all morning. So we didn't do it. So it will probably wait until next weekend now. I also built that myself out of pallets and what you see all around the garden, which is rabbit fencing, um, three foot high rabbit fencing, four foot high T posts. And then the little border around there is called a half log border and that came from Home Depot. Got a whole bunch of those and just put them all around. As you can see, I need to take them down and trim all that grass and, and get rid of that, keep it from growing under there. It's driving me nuts. Okay, so the gate is not up properly yet. Just kind of move it. It's up with a bungee. <laughs> I have 10 of these planters. They came from Home Depot. Uh, Barons, I think is the the name the two obelisk trellises came from Menards these lights I think I just saw these these from Amazon I have two of those from Amazon then we have a ton of random tomato cages bamboo sticks and stuff like that this black trellis here uh, I think that came from gardeners the big blue one came from gardeners and let me tell you something, not worth the money. Sorry, gardeners, but I expected a lot better quality for what I paid for those things. All along here, we have black five gallon buckets, which you can get most places. However, I got a great deal on these. This was a 10 pack for like 32 bucks from Home Depot. So I've ordered those a couple of times. I used a lot of these black tubs last year I'm only using one now. That's a grapevine in there that I'm hoping makes it and gives me grapes someday. <laughs> um, I got the black buckets from Menards and Walmart. I have a couple different types. This is my sub pod. Just installed this a few weeks ago. Got it for review. As you can see, it's full of plants that are doing very well. More on that later. This is one of my Vigo garden beds that I got, I actually purchased this one. I got this one over here first for review. Loved it so much. 
that I then ordered the big 32 inch one. Okay, so that's the Vigo Gardens. This is just a stock tank. I bought this off of a guy on Marketplace for 100 bucks. Um, it was actually in the middle of winter <laughs> when he listed it on micro Marketplace. So my son and I picked it up, came home and just set it out here in the snow. And that was actually the first piece that was sitting over here. These little planters here are also in Aldi Fine. I have four of them. And these are actually coming up uh, in, in the stores again uh, this week. So either today or Wednesday, depending on where you are. In my area, it's on Wednesdays. More little pots from Menards. Oh, I forgot about my arch. The arch, believe it or not, also came from Aldi. That was only like $35. And I love it. It's doing so well. I realized when I was watching this back to edit that I skipped a whole bed. This square bed on the side is actually two beds stacked together. When I ordered, I realized that it was pretty short, so I ordered another one after noticing that in the middle there were holes. I used these to turn one upside down on top and bolt them together. I then used duct tape all around the seam in the middle so the dirt would not spill out. Then we have my four green stalks, two originals, and two leaves. These are the two leaves, which have 42 planting pockets. The two originals in the back, which we'll see more closely, have 30 planting pockets. This little tub, honestly, I don't remember. It's a 5.5 gallon tub. I'm gonna guess you can get those at Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, or anywhere like that. The standing planter back there, See, that's another Aldi one. The standing planter back there. I have two exactly like this that came from Amazon. And then at one point, they switched it over to this one, which also had these dividers inside. The dividers are down there. And I like those gray ones much better because this one, as you can see, has started to rust badly. So I anticipate I'm gonna have to replace that maybe next year. And I may go ahead and order another one just like that now and just hold it in case they go out of stock again. This strawberry planter is just the dollar store planters. So each section is $1. Honestly, they're not great, but for small plants and things, they work out okay. This is my Vajega raised bed. It is identical to the Vigo Gardens so far, and I'm loving it. Very easy to put together. They were all pretty easy to put together. Lots and lots of screws, but not hard at all. Here we have trellises from guess where? Aldi, no, I'm sorry. These came from Amazon, I think. These, these, that one from Amazon. Um, the Aldi ones are these larger ones here last year and they have these coming up again next week too i'm probably going to go and get a few to hold because when you move things around and you realize you need more trellises they come in handy this planter here matches the ones or sort of matches the ones on top of my potting bench that was again a uh, ross or something like that this big metal bed was from amazon i can't remember the brand name I know it's 63 inches by like 3.3 feet, whatever that is. Um, again, pretty nice, easy to put together. So far, it's definitely a little thinner than the others, but I've had no problems with it. It's holding up very well. And this huge one over here, I remember this one's called Bloomfelt, I think, also from Amazon. I took a chance on this one because when I ordered it, um, I think the reviews were either in another language and they didn't have many reviews yet. But I did it and I'm so glad I did. I love this bed. It is extremely sturdy. Here we have the Sam's Club vertical planter. Everybody has their vertical planters now. And this one I actually like a lot. It's quite a bit taller than the Mr. Sackey. And um, what I did was I set this one and I set the one over there on top of um, uh, Lazy Susans that are supposed to be from the house, but I found some plastic rubber ones and just set them under there on top of the crates so I could turn it. 
here. This is more of the dollar store planters. And I think I've gotten to almost every, oh, this archway here that my peas are starting to climb up. Um, what is the technical name of these? Super hoops, super hoops from gardeners. They are made to hold your like netting or whatever, but I turned them into these using the bamboo sticks to stabilize them. And the peas are starting to climb up nicely. I don't know how high they're going to get, but so far so good. And then, so I said I would mention what the most talked about item was. These pots, whenever I post anything, everyone wants to know where did I get the gray pots in my garden? These were also an Aldi find. Back in 2020, they did not have them last year. I was hoping they did because I wanted a couple more. And they were only like $14, came with the pot and the trellis, all in one piece. I have two of those and I love them. I have uh, cucumbers in there. And last year, it looked so pretty with the cucumbers trellising up and then falling out and I would just let them go up and back down. And I really think I got to everything in like 15 minutes. Oh, nope, I missed you. This is the, not the city pickers, but I think the ESCO. And it's uneven and I'm not really using it right anyway. Um, not a huge fan. Some people really love them. And I probably would if it fit more into my aesthetic. But it was like one of the first things I bought before I really had a garden and hadn't thought about, you know, matching and things like that. So it works, but I'm afraid to try to move it and even it out because I think it's going to fall apart. Now, what I might do is lift the top off if possible, fix it, and then put the top back on. But obviously it's heavy now because it's full of soil. And I really believe that I got to everything. And even though we didn't talk about plants yet, this gave you a good look at the garden and what's growing. I'm pretty sure you can spot some plants and recognize them. Other than that, I just have a few random pots that pop up here and there when needed. Um, and around the yard, I have some other couple of pots, nothing special, like my shepherd's hooks out there. Some, like I mentioned, came from Aldi. The rest all came from Menards, the really strong ones. The hanging straw, I'm sorry, not straw, the hanging baskets came from Menards. And yeah, so I'm happy that this is finally all done. The expansion is done. Everything is growing beautifully. Oh, this thing. I forgot about my dragonfly. I got this at a local nursery and I would like to go back and get another one because he is so pretty. I need to figure out which store it was or which nursery and go find a couple more. And then I have my little cheap landscape lights all over the place. All right, I hope you enjoyed my ramblings and um, stay tuned for that official tour that's coming up soon. Please like and subscribe. Ta-ta now.